In this video, what I want to show you is how to use Zoom Meeting to host a meeting where you're using your camera from your computer or your phone and you're also screen sharing with your iPad at the same time. So the first thing you need to do is you actually need to go to the Zoom website and download and install Zoom. So you go to zoom.us, go there, you can just uh, sign up, uh, it's free, it says there, there's a button in the header of the website, so just click on that and get started. Ideally sign up with like Google or Facebook so you don't need to you know, remember the password. It's totally free to get started and they'll walk you through the process of installing Zoom and then signing in. So make sure you do that uh, before jumping into the next steps. Okay, now that you've got Zoom installed on your computer, what you want to do is just open up the program, sign in, and then start the meeting. So I'm going to click on start with video, and then I'll join with computer audio, unmute myself, and just turn on my video as well. All right, and I can see at the top of the screen there, it's got the Zoom meeting ID. So this is the meeting ID at the top in this section. Okay, so you've got the meeting running on your computer, so now you want to be able to connect your iPad. So you have to actually install the Zoom application first. So make sure you go to the App Store and install that and then sign in with your account. Um, find Zoom in your apps and then we want to join a meeting. And then you want to enter in the meeting ID that shows on your computer. So I'm going to enter that in. And then in the join options, um, I always connect, uh, will select do not connect to audio and turn off my video because I don't want it to show both of those at the same time because it'll get weird. And then I'll click on join. All right, so right now, the iPad is joined to the meeting as if it's another attendee. So now what we want to do is actually swipe down from the top right, and then there's a little record button. So because Zoom is installed, I can press down on that and hold it for a bit, and then Zoom comes up as an option where I can actually start broadcasting. So I'm gonna click on start broadcast, it just counts down from three. And now it's actually sharing my screen straight into Zoom. So I'm going to move over to Notability, which is my coloring in app of choice. If I'm going to be, if I'm going to be critiquing website designs or any kind of design or sharing something and explaining something in like a, a model or a drawing with my clients, um, I use Notability because it's awesome. Uh, so you can come in here and what you share here you could be drawing like a mock-up of a landing page, let's say, da -da -da. big headline. Cool, you can draw that for your clients and they can actually be watching that happening live or they can also uh, see your face at the same time. Now you can record these via Zoom, which is awesome, and you can send this directly to your clients afterwards, making for a great meeting uh, with notes that you can review and your clients can, um, and can review the work that you've been talking about. It's basically the same thing. So to connect with your phone is basically the same thing. <laughs> I really like doing it this way without having my computer with me because when I'm traveling, I don't always have my laptop with me, um, especially when I'm out and about. It's just not quite as portable and it's a lot more expensive, so I don't like to always have it in my backpack. But having my phone and having my iPad, I can basically run meetings the way that I need to for, for this kind of purpose um, without needing to use my um my MacBook. So I really like this process. Um, as you can see here, I have a very, very basic tripod. Um, I like to put the tripod up as high as it can to, to like eye level, as close to eye level as I possibly can, which usually means I'm in a hotel or I'm somewhere where I'm just looking for chairs and boxes and all sorts of stuff to put underneath my, um, my portable tripod, uh, just so it goes up a little bit higher. Otherwise, they're looking up your nose and that's a little bit weird. So again, you want to install Zoom on your, uh, on your phone. And this one needs to unlock with my face. There we go. Okay, so I just want to open up the Zoom app and then I'm going to start a new meeting. I'm going to turn the video on and use my personal meeting ID. All right, and then again, uh, from my iPad, what I want to do is open up Zoom, join a meeting, Put in the meeting ID. And again, I don't want to connect to audio and I want to turn off my video. And then it's just basically following the same process. So now that I'm connected, I want to swipe down from the top right, hold on to the record button, click start broadcast. And now I'm ready to go and that is screen sharing to Zoom. And now, 
we can share with them the design that we're putting together. Okay, so that's it. That's the whole process. Uh, really what you need to do now is you need to go to zoom.us, sign up for a free account, download all the apps, and ideally you wanna test this before you have one of your client meetings because there are a couple of steps and some things tend to go wrong and you wanna make sure the camera's in the right space. So test this first uh, just with your desktop and your iPad and just make sure it's all working before you're doing this on an actual client meeting. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe and you can click on the uh, bell notification icon so you can be notified when the next video goes live. Cool. 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 cool.